And thank you. Thank you very much. Let it be borne in mind that the tragedy of life does not lie in not reaching your goals. The tragedy lies in having no goals to reach for. It's not a calamity to die with dreams unfulfilled, but it is a calamity to have no dreams. As you've heard, my parents had dreams, and you and I have dreams. And the American dream is under attack. That's the bad news. The good news is we are fighting back. We are fighting back with our faith, and we are fighting back with our freedom to fight back in the greatest country in the world when we don't like something going on in Washington, D.C. So let me do this. I want to share with you three of my guiding principles so you would know what type of leader I would be, you know what type of person I am, three of my guiding principles that have guided my life, guided the decisions that I made when I was running companies, and it's guided my own family. Guiding principle number one, and I'm only going to do three, do the right thing, do what's right, to do what's right. Secondly, one of my guiding principles, we have got to lead this nation from an entitlement society to an empowerment society. The Declaration of Independence points out those great words that we all remember and hear. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We've got to become an empowerment society. We've got to empower businesses to create jobs. Government can't create jobs by getting government out of the way. We have got to empower the states to do what states do best, and that is to solve the people problems in the state. They can't be solved in Washington, D.C. Time's up. Empowerment, not entitlement. And then my third guiding principle that I want to share with you. We have to defend the life of the earth. We must defend the future of this nation today. We'll, as Ralph said, our time, our talent, and our individual treasures. I was compelled into a position of this. And so my third guiding principle is not about us. It's about the grandchildren. It's not about us. Ask any grandparent. Even though the liberals starting in the White House are trying to change this nation. I have a breaking news announcement for President Obama. The liberals in Washington, D.C. and the liberals all over this great nation. The United States of America is not going to become the United States of Europe, not on our watch. Thank you.